What's up guys, so I just picked up my Tesla this past month, and if you live in California, you've probably heard about a lot of different incentives and credits you can receive. So in this video, I'm gonna go into all the different California specific incentives and credits that you can get as a resident. Let's get in it. Hi guys, my name is Dennis and I just picked up a Model 3 and I make videos about my experience, including a weekly autopilot video in Los Angeles traffic. If you're interested in any of that, hit that subscribe. There's actually a ton of different California incentives out there and I was actually surprised when I was trying to research for this video. You can really miss out on a ton if you're not aware of what all the different levels of incentives there is. So please let me know if I've missed anything and comment below so we can all help each other and get all the different incentives. So the first electric vehicle incentive that, that almost everybody knows about is the federal tax credit incentives. It's $1,875 and it runs through the end of this year or December 31st, 2019. This is a credit off the taxes you pay so you have to owe that amount in taxes before getting that credit back. The next one is the California Clean Vehicle Rebate Project, which is behind me on this screen. Currently, it's $2,500, but they're out of funding at the moment. So if you apply, you'll probably get that credit if they fund it in the next few months or the next year. If you're low income and you're under a certain threshold, you actually get a $2,000 bonus on top of that. I'll paste a link to the information on this credit and all the different incentives in the description below. There's different thresholds on low income. so. Next, for local energy companies, if you are a PG&E customer, mostly the Bay Area, you can apply for an $800 incentive. More information in the description. You have to be a customer of PG&E and you have to register the vehicle under the same address. Another one I found is for SoCal residents. If you're a customer of SoCal Edison, you can also get up to $1,000 when you apply for their EV rebate as well. Another benefit I found that you probably already are well aware about is the carpool sticker. Each year they've had different colors for carpool stickers. The carpool sticker you can get up to four years, but your year starts whenever you initially receive the carpool sticker. So currently we're in September. So if you were to apply and get the sticker within the next few weeks, you'd only get it for the remainder of this year plus the next three years to total or four years. So a lot of people are recommending if you're interested in getting the carpool sticker is to just wait. Send your application on the first of next year so that way you get it for the rest of that year plus three more years after that. From forms that I've read, the carpool sticker, when you send in your application, it takes anywhere from five to seven weeks for them to cash your check and then another two weeks for them to mail it. So it really can take two months for you to get your carpool sticker. So there's actually a whole list of a lot of smaller different incentives that you can get after purchasing an EV vehicle. I'll paste the list that I found in the description of below, but to quickly run through it, Anaheim Public Utilities offers a rebate of up to $500 for EV charging. The City of Burbank, the City of Glendale, and Los Angeles Department of Water and Power all offer a $500 rebate for installing a home EV charger. Pasadena Water and Power offers up to $600 of free electricity for EV charging for one year. The Hermosa Beach, San Jose, Santa Monica, and San Anselmo all offer free parking for all city metered parking, participating garages, parks, and recreation centers. That I actually didn't know a lot about at all. SDG&E offers a rebate of up to $1,000 for teachers and first responders who purchase an EV. SMUD offers a 599 cash incentives for EV purchasers. And Sonoma Clean Power offers 4,500 in rebates. South Coast Air Quality Management offers rebates of up to $800 for EV home charging installations. So as you can see, there's a ton of different California specific incentives that you can possibly get after purchasing your EV. So check that list below to see which ones you qualify for. And that's it. Please let me know if I've missed anything in this video and comment below if there's a different incentive that I didn't find. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, please use my referral code so we can both get either a thousand or 2000 miles of free supercharging. Thanks for watching. See ya.